Hello there Monster Wranglers, it's Has here after a long while and with some great news regarding Dragon Quest Monsters if you haven't heard it yet somewhere else. Square Enix is finally releasing the Dark Prince on PC, Steam to be precise, and also on mobile devices, so Android and iOS on the 11th of September. Personally, I think this is fantastic news for multiple reasons, but for me, despite all the fixes and improvements for the Nintendo Switch version of the game, I'll be just super happy to play Dragon Quest Monsters on my PC with perfect FPS, graphics, and fast loading screens, which has been always my number one criticism of the game in all fairness. I just had a really brief conversation on Twitter that apparently some patches ago they fixed these things, so I tried it on my device but unfortunately found it to be somewhat the same. So yeah, a properly running DQ Monsters is something I'm really excited for. Now unfortunately it seems every great news nowadays have its downsides and there's a big one for the Dark Prince, which has been floating around social media since yesterday and it's that apparently the PC and I assume the mobile versions of the game won't be featuring the online battle system that the Nintendo Switch version has. The Steam store specifically saying the network mode online battles from the console version where players battle one another in real time is not included. Very odd decision if I can say, one that definitely spoils all the celebration around this ninja drop of a game to be frank. So this means that the real time battles are not included in this version, which already ruins a lot of the end game and the goal of Dragon Quest Monsters, even if the end game somewhat failed for this version due to a very unhealthy meta. But there's still some hope that the rest of the multiplayer functions that are not real time but somewhat automated are still going to be included, so fingers crossed. As to why this decision was made, we can only speculate, could be server costs, the fact that it wasn't as successful an entry as Square Enix hoped for, perhaps version incompatibilities, or even just the fear of PC cheaters, who knows. All of them could be the reason for it, but the real question is will you be buying Dragon Quest Monsters for PC despite no online battles then? Out of curiosity, I did run a poll on my Twitter a couple of days ago to see general interest at least among the people who follow me there, which is to note a very small selection of course, but still I was curious how many are interested to restart the campaign and play it again, and to my surprise, a good 75% of responses said they aren't interested in restarting on the PC version, and that was before the whole online feature drama being public, which made me kind of sad. Like I said, I will definitely be playing it along with Visions of Mana to see if it's more enjoyable, how smooth it is and what features are exactly there or missing. But I'll ask here too just to be sure, are you actually planning to get Dragon Quest Monsters for PC when it releases now? Maybe it's your first time playing the game or you have played it before. Either way, let me know in the comments below if you're gonna be playing it. With that said, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video for the moment. I know I've been away for a long time, hopefully that will change now. I had a really, really rough year personally, but it's all about looking forward now and there's tons of great stuff to look forward to, like the newly released Visions of Mana at the moment, and also Dragon Quest 3 2D HD remake coming in November, so you can be sure I'll be around for these. Thank you for watching everyone and for your support as always, take care and I'll see you the next time.